Hi everybody, welcome to another segment of OWA Live. Today we're going to be talking about inflation again. This is something that Lynn talked about in May. We're going to put a link to his uh, discussion there. Um, it's not quite as transitory as we thought. 8.2% was the year-over-year -year number for uh, the month of September, which was actually higher than what was expected. So what do we do? Where can we invest to try and capture a little bit of inflation protection? Um, probably the most common recommendation is in precious metals. So when we're talking about precious metals, we're talking gold and silver specifically, but there are some other um, options that we can look at as well. Things like platinum and palladium. A lot of people will look at copper. Some people look at rhodium. There are plenty of options there and quite frankly, all of them are poised for some kind of recovery. Uh, gold, as of this recording, is sitting less than $1,700 an ounce. Silver is still sitting less than $20 an ounce. Both of those have room to grow. We haven't seen the spike in gold and silver that we expected because the dollar has remained so strong. But if we head into a recession, if uh, the indicators are suggesting that we might be seeing some economic uh, headwinds in front of us here, these might be good assets, these might be good investments. It's still not too late to be looking at gold and silver. Lynn mentioned in the previous video that we have linked, uh, physical custodianship of gold and silver is always better than, than paper gold and silver. But either way, if you've got non-qualified assets, maybe look at investing it here. Um, if you have IRA assets or Roth assets, all of those can be held in precious metals. That's something we should look at. Another common uh, discussion that we've had with a lot of our clients are I-bonds. I think these are great tools. Um, you've been living under a rock if you haven't heard us talk about I-bonds because I feel like it's all that we talk about right now. 9.62% rate of return. That's going to be redetermined in October. So we're going to have to see kind of what things look like at that point. In addition to this though, we should be looking at TIPS, Treasury Inflation Protected Securities. I feel like we talked a lot about those at the beginning of the year, but everyone has kind of stopped talking about them for whatever reason. So tips are definitely a good investment tool. I want to say here too that we might want to look at commodities in general. Uh, commodities. These commodities uh, could include uh, different futures. We might look at wheat. We might look at uh, corn. We can look at oil and gas. Um, generally speaking, these commodities are going to work well in times of high inflation. And especially now we've seen uh, some of those prices go down uh, from their high a few months ago, it might be a good opportunity to jump in there. And then the last one I'm going to say here might bother some of you, but we're going to go for it. Um, stocks. I know that we've mentioned it before with inflation, but long term stocks are going to do well, especially if you're in high quality, large cap positions big companies that are going to survive any recessionary storms that we see, a good portfolio of stock holdings are just going to do well. A lot of people right now are looking at dividend payers, um, companies that uh, have high dividends that, that can help to shelter a little bit with some of the market volatility. Um, that might be a good option to consider. Uh, growth stocks right now are on sale. Everything is uh, very volatile right now. Now, I don't want to say that everyone should jump into stocks. And quite frankly, I don't think anyone should jump into any of these things without talking to a financial advisor first. But all of these assets will help you to weather an inflation storm, especially over the long term. If we look at a good balanced portfolio with a little bit of all of this stuff, that will help you to weather whatever inflation decides to do here in the future. So until next time, if you have any questions or concerns, if you want to work on getting your portfolio inflation protected, give us a call. We uh, can chat about how we can invest in some of these different strategies specifically for you. Feel free to, free to reach out to our office. We'd be happy to sit down and meet with uh, any one of you. Until next week, keep your head about you. It's a little bit scary out there. But uh, as we make good decisions and good uh, investment rationale, that's all we can do in this kind of uh, scenario. We'll see you next week.